one thing that taking that paint off revealed right over here I had, I had a few bubbles coming up in the seam and um, of course hitting it with that scaler um, showed me where the weak points were there the, the underneath metal seems pretty good so I think I can just cut a little strip up and peel it off the top and then weld it and plug weld it back in there and I think it'll be good as new I got a little spot over here on the same seam so it's good to find that now I can get it done before priming alright here are the outlined area I'm going to cut out I went ahead and drilled the spot welds out worked out nice that um, piece perfectly covered it so I just traced around that scribed around it and then over there on that side I've done the same thing a little smaller area so I'll go work with that alright so we got the uh, old metal cut out Amazingly, all the rust was on this piece. It's just a little bit of surface rust that it's going to come right off. So, good and sturdy. So, I'll grind those buttons off along with the uh, clean up the area, spritz it with some weld through. I got this piece over here off as well. That's the same thing. Um, it's amazingly clean. Hole right there, believe it or not, is a factory construction hole. If you look, that's just the way those pieces lap, and it was crammed, slap full of uh, seam sealer. So, 1973 Detroit. That's the way it was made. So I'm gonna slap it full of seam sealer again. Worked for 40 years. Should see me out. Okay, here I got the old rusty metal cut out. And I've got um, the area underneath prepped and primed with some uh, weld through primer. So we'll weld in a new piece and see how it looks. And here I got the new metal ready to go in. Cut out these pieces. Just use the old one as a pattern. And get some uh, primer on the back. So we'll burn that in. Grind her off. See how it turns out. All right, here we go. Welding's all done. Both sides there. So. Grind her down. Both are all ground down. Spritched it with a little primer. If you look close, you can see the tops of the plug welds where I ground them flat. Still got to put some seam sealer along there. I'll do that before I prime it. I like using that um, weld through primer even on the top the bare metal there because it protects the metal but it scrubs off real easy comes right off when you prep it for the real primer so it's not that expensive either you can scratch it off with your thumbnail which isn't good if you if it was going to be your main primer but I got some epoxy primer I'm going to put over so came out pretty good. Like it. <laughs> 